Hey folks, it's Terry here with the ProtoSchool Community Call for April. It's April 2nd and we have a few updates for you today. So let's um, start it off with Zay who has been updating a bunch of our content based on changes made to IPFS itself. Yeah, so the first thing that uh, we have to show actually is, so we have a couple updates that we are doing to, to tutorials uh, regarding some uh, async refactor major release for JSAPFS that we talked about uh, last time. And now it's just a couple a couple more tweaks and we're ready to launch today. Um, we are, so this means that from a user, from a perspective of someone, someone who's doing the, uh, the tutorial, the code will be, the code challenges will be a little bit different. So in order for users to know that, um, actually they are different and that they can do it. And uh, we also added a nice feature to actually show uh, the users that they are different. So what they will look like is something like this. This is for new tutorials, but for uh, updated ones, this message will show up where we'll be able to see that for some reason the tutorial updated and then the message. So encouraging users to actually do the tutorials again. Um, so this is on, on the works and the updates for the tutorials will be uh, launched soon as well. And so this is what they will look like. For example, for the anatomy of a CID tutorial that we launched recently, uh, we'll, you'll see this message, message. And this way you can see that tutorials have been updated or not. They are new on the tutorials list page. I hope everyone is enjoying the vacuum noises from upstairs. This is our fun during the interesting time. Um, just double checking my notes here. Yeah, so that's if you haven't yet acquainted yourself with the async await refactor, check out the new tutorials starting later today, hopefully. Um, and there's a blog, there are a couple of blog posts that also reference those. So there's that piece. And then I think the other big thing we've been working on this month is just digging into planning for Q2. Um, that's not quite final yet, so I'll probably wait until our next meeting to share details, but we're um, looking at ways to expand our content base and make it easier to contribute, um, make it easier to host virtual events for those of you who are leading chapters in places where you can't get together in person right now, which is probably most of you. So um, yeah. Stay tuned for updates there. Anything else you wanted to mention, Zay? Uh, maybe about the uh, subscription as well, the newsletter? Oh, yes. Good point. Yeah. So when we get this update published for you for these tutorials, we're going to send out an update through our newsletter. Um, and in today's meeting notes, you'll find a link to the sign up form. We're using MailChimp to manage our list. And they're actually two different segments for this mailing list. You can choose whichever one is right for you. So when you go to sign up for the newsletter, we have this little box right here. Um, if you just give us your email address, the news that you'll get will be updates from Proto School. So things like new tutorials or site features. We're not going to send you updates specifically about individual projects. So if you want info on IPFS or Filecoin, those projects both have their own newsletters you can sign up for. But if we release a new tutorial, new feature, we'll let you know. If you're someone who's interested in hosting local Proto School events, then I strongly encourage you to check the box right here. We're no longer communicating with our leaders through GitHub because of the way that people are signing up. It doesn't use GitHub as part of that process. So in order for us to keep you up to date on resources that we create for local leaders, we need you to sign up for the newsletter and check that little box right there. So um, for the attendees of your events, we encourage you to have them sign up for the newsletter in general so they can stay up to date when we have new content. Um, but for you who are leading events, go ahead and check that box, it would be awesome. Yeah, I think that's it for today. So light on the updates, but we hope to get a little more done as we settle into our new normal here and we'll be back with more for you next month. See you later. Goodbye.